We begin with news of another tragic death involving GTA police, this one in Markham, where a York Regional officer was killed in an early morning car crash. Good afternoon. Police confirming just a short while ago the identity of the officer, Constable Travis Gillespie. Police say he died at the scene near Major McKenzie Drive in Warden, and that's where we find CTV's Janice Golden. Janice. Hi, Nathan. We're down the road just a bit from where the actual accident occurred, given a large span of Major McKenzie Drive near Warden and Markham has been shut down due to the investigation. But we will be showing you some chopper video, which will show you just how severe the impact was. But before we do so, I want to warn you that some of this video is pretty graphic. Now, from the sky, you'll be able to see a white Honda Accord covered in the tarp, the front end of the vehicle shorn clean off, the engine gone and sitting some distance away. Further down the road, you can see a badly damaged dark-colored Porsche Cayenne. Now, as you've mentioned, York Regional Police have now confirmed that the driver of the Honda Accord was one of their own. In a statement today, Chief Jim McSween said, It is with great sadness that I share the tragic passing of York Regional Police Constable Travis Gillespie, who was killed in a collision on his way today. He is survived by his parents, loved ones, and colleagues. This unexpected loss is devastating for all members of our organization. 38-year-old Gillespie was pronounced dead at the scene. The driver of the Porsche, a 23-year-old Markham man, was transported to hospital sometime after 6 a.m. Now, police say in order to ensure members of the York Regional Police Department aren't further traumatized by this incident, the Peel Regional Police Major Collision Unit will be conducting the investigation into the crash. Now, police say Constable Gillespie was sworn in as a constable in April 2020 and served with two district as a uniformed officer prior to joining the force. He served as a special constable with Metrolinx and Go. He is survived by his parents, loved ones and colleagues. Reporting live from Janice Golding, now back to Paulina Nathan.